What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here, coming at you from my car again. But anyway, everyone's been asking me about a good holster for a Smith & Wesson 686 plus four inch. So let's get into it. Once I got my Smith & Wesson 686 Plus, the very next thing that I did was start re researching inside the waistband holsters on a budget, budget-minded inside the waistband holsters. You know me, I like my concealed carry. I'm not a big fan of outside the waistband carry. I, I don't mind doing it for like training or something like that, but when it comes to actual everyday carry, I usually carry in concealed inside the waistband. And when I shoot, I usually shoot from inside the waistband holster because you fight as you train. But a lot of people they've been saying is like, Matt, we're looking for a good you know, inside the waistband holster for a 686, do you have any recommendations? So me being the budget minded dude that I was, I searched up eBay. <laughs> As usual, I go to eBay or Amazon or something like that and I looked it up. Now, I have a great holster guy, Arsenal Archery makes some great holsters for me and stuff like that. I'm actually using one of his right now from a 1911. Well, when it comes down to it, for a revolver, I prefer a leather holster. I prefer a leather holster for a revolver. So. I went out and looked some inside the waistband leather holsters on a budget. So the first one I got was this guy right here. This is a Tagula or Tagula, however you say it, inside the waistband holster, kind of pancake size. You can see it kind of pancake size. You have two straps on one side. First, this was great. Looks like it was great. I like the pancake, kind of disperses the weight. But the second I got it, I, I didn't become much of a fan. Now it conceals, kinda, depending on what you wear. The problem with this one is, yes, it's got the good cant on it. It's got these where you can put it on there as it spurts the weight, but it rides really, really, really high on your side. When you want inside the waistband, you want it low enough, especially with a revolver, you want the cylinder and the gap between your legs and your back, your tactical muffin top area, catch my drift. But that's where you want the actual cylinder to be because with a cylinder, it literally blends into your body. A revolver, if you put it in the right spot, it actually conceals a lot better than most semi-automatic guns. So I didn't like that because this had it right above the spot where it was supposed to, where, where you need it to be. So it was up a little bit too high, literally up on my side and I wasn't a big fan of it. Now if I wore a button up or something like that, yes, this worked, it worked all very well. Now this is all right because it didn't close that much. It's thick, it's reinforced enough that what's inside the waistband, it doesn't close as much, but I still have to shove the, the pistol in there, I actually put my finger in here and shove it in there because the 686 Plus is, it, it's yes, it's an L frame, but it's a bulkier cylinder because it's got the extra one round. So it kind of get would get caught up right here when I was going in and out of the holster and I did not like that. However, once again, in a defensive situation, it's about getting the gun out of your holster and shooting, not necessarily about going in and out and in and out of the holster. But, so that was this one. So I did it, it works. This is like $36, so remember about $36. It works all right if you can dress appropriately for it, like a button up shirt. That, but I wasn't a big fan of that, so I wanted to find another one. So I did, I looked up some more research. I have no clue what the name of this holster is. I said it was like an LT something. All right, it was like an LT something holster, but right here, all right, this right here, the sun's kind of shining on right, This guy's right here. It's a, it's a, actually, it's a really thick leather holster. I do like it. It's kind of a thicker leather holster. And if you notice, one of the big things for me is it's reinforced right up around here. Okay. Reinforced right around here. Just so it doesn't close all the way when it's inside the waistband. Now, I'm not a big fan of these hooks, but they do work. I don't know. I think they call this a tuckable. I wouldn't tuck a shirt into it, but I'm not a huge fan of this actually actual little thing here, especially when it's metal and stuff like that. However, this holster is actually pretty well made. If you take a look at it, even the stitching is pretty good. The stitching goes all the way around, all right? The stitching is pretty good on the back. You see where he was struggling a little bit with it. You can tell this thing is handmade, but it's heavy duty leather. It is very heavy duty leather. Now this reminded me of a uh, Galco Stow and Go. Um, I've had a Galco Stow and Go for about 10 years. I still have it now and I, can't, and I still use it. I do still use it occasionally. A Galco Stow and Go is very similar like this. It's just a simple holster that you can slide in and out. Now this, however, because like I said, the 686 Plus, lessons learned, all right, is an L frame, but because it's a bigger, bulkier cylinder, I decided to go with the N frame, which is a size up bigger than the 686 plus. So this is a N frame holster. So technically I could probably put a 44 Magnum in here as well. 
but so it works very very well and the actual the, the actual revolver gets in the very well and the person knows what he's doing he has these little cutouts here so the adjustable sights on 686 plus sit right there perfectly and it, it doesn't go in too far it, it's just perfect and this puts the holster where it needs to be all right it puts the gun where it needs to be that puts the cylinder where it needs to be right inside the gap between your leg and your tactical muffin top so i love this holster so far and it's very simple now for me my revolver isn't something i carry all the time do i carry absolutely when i'm out fishing and i'm in bear country when i'm out fishing when i'm hiking that's that's the gun i carry it's my outdoor gun but this one right here will absolutely without a shadow of doubt get the job done i like it i do like it but once again once you pull it out of the holster it's tougher to get it into the holster because it's leather and it collapses on itself a little bit be nicer if there's a little more reinforced on top of like maybe metal in here or something like that to hold it up but hey it is what it is so this holster right here is a 25 dollars holster 25 and i'm liking it all right i'm liking it for my 686 plus i don't know remember the name is it's like lt something but what i will do is i will leave a link in the description below for both of these holsters so you can go and take a look at it and see what you think anyway guys there you have it if you like this video like share subscribe tell your friends about me and remember it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other peace